Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing some hygiene shopping at Target and I'm going to make a disclaimer. I'm still a regular person so with that being said I'm not about to buy 15 plus products just to show off on the internet because I'm not going to do that. Realistically I'm only going to get one or two things but I do want to go around the store telling you guys what products I like and what works for me. One important thing about this video is I have eczema so everything that I pick out is either going to be scent free or just something that's good for my eczema. Starting with deodorant, my go-to is this secret right here, this PH1 secret PH and I get the, the value pack because it's $7.99 but I would rather get two than one because why not so this is the one i like to use you can also get an individual that's the one i really like now i really don't like the spray ones anything spray i just don't like it i've used these stuff deodorants and i honestly don't like them i don't think they do anything for me as far as smells of anything it makes it worse and i've also tried their spray deodorants also didn't like at all i do want to mention that yes this one does leave a white little cast but that's how you know it works as far as racers i have tried the venus didn't love that but it can work i guess it's just not my favorite the one that i use now is the flamingo ones and these are nine 99 and you get oh this one this one has five blades but the one that i get has less it just depends on which one you pick but you can also find these at tj maxx home goods for less so be on the lookout for that and it's cheaper and you get a little thing you get this to hang it on your shower so i love that because i don't like my razor just to be everywhere in the shower they glide on super smoothly they haven't cut me anywhere <laughs> that I didn't want. I, I really like these for $10. It's a win. And they have other little colors. Sometimes I just switch around. They have green, pink, and gray. But if you don't want to go all out with those prices, you can get these. But honestly, you might as well just get the ones that I was talking about because like I said, you get the little thing to put in the shower. Mm, these are okay. I've tried these. These are not bad, but not the best either. And please stay away from the, these razors that I like. These, these are so bad. Oh my god. When I was younger, that's what I started out with. And these are just, these are so bad. I'm sorry. Do not. Just don't. Go for something like this with this kind of blade look. The circular thing. Not this. This will cut you, man. This will cut you. Now, as far as body wash, I do use a soap. But also, you can use this, these body washes. Um, I always look, since I have eczema, I always look for it to be accepted by the national eczema association but obviously these are all cetaphil i swear by cetaphil i love cetaphil just do your research also on top it says stress skin dry skin you know just figure out what type of skin you have um i would never get all skin types because mine i mean you can do that but i need something for eczema it needs to be very eczema so maybe i just get this one because this one says the e i don't know i kind of want to try this one i'm gonna look at the back and compare and see what's the difference is between this one and this one. I'm just gonna grab this one because I don't trust it. <laughs> Even though I wouldn't trust packaging either, do your research, but Cetaphil has never stirred me wrong. And yes, this is something I'm actually buying. Fortunately, as far as scrubs or any of this stuff stuff, mm -mm, I do not use any of this. It's all scented and I cannot, I cannot use anything scented. Unfortunately, sometimes I get mad that I can't use anything scented because tree hut sounds fun, but can't do it so yeah we're gonna skip over this over here all right dental care now me i'm pretty basic this is what i grew up on so it, honestly i feel like it always depends on what you grew up on i always grew up on colgate uh ty always grew up on crest so he likes crest i personally hate the way ta crest tastes but i mean do you i like this one the cool mints but as of now i am trying this one this optic white it has been clearing up my teeth a little bit but i literally just started it so i couldn't tell you if it's works or not i've also used sensodyne too i did not like it but maybe it works i don't know i just don't like the taste if i don't like the taste it's gonna be a no as far as toothpaste i always do this one the electrical one and that's the one i always get it's electrical it's eight dollars that's what i like you can do a regular classic one it just depends on what you like and what head you like they have soft hard man they have all kinds so just figure out because if you read on top it'll tell you soft hard you know that's something i figured out a year ago <laughs> i also like to protect my toothbrush because it's in the bathroom and people use the toilet and if they don't close the lid after they use the toilet that 
goes all over the air, so I like to put that on my toothbrush. I like to buy some of these basic ones just for guests when they come over. If they need a toothbrush, I got them, and these are 111. I've always wanted to try one of these whitening strips, so if you've tried these, please let me know if they're good. As far as floss, I'm pretty basic. I honestly don't really. I'm not picky. I can do any, honestly. I don't care. I prefer something like this, though, where I can grab it, a better grip for it, or like this, and then... That works for me, but I don't have a specific brand. To scrub my tongue, those up there are good. Now there, I don't really love the, the this texture of it, but it works. Then with mouthwash, I'm pretty sure we all started with Listerine. This is the basic one. As of now, my favorite ones are the TheraBreath. I think my favorite one was the green one or the blue one. I think it's the green one, but they all have different tastes. So just taste it and figure it out i guess and it'll tell you the different taste up there these are really good if you don't want to have a bad breath so you can take this at night and then the next day it should be less of a strong order coming from your mouth and i do approve i do think it works now it's a little pricey that big bottle is 15 dollars um, but it'll last you a while, so I think it's worth it. I did see these. These are small. I don't know if they have other ones, but these are for kids too. And these are $5.29. Maybe they have other smaller bottles if you want to test it out. So I know that this is technically not hygiene, but I love these gummies for hair growth and nail growth. I do think it works. Now it's slow. If you take them every day, the better. But obviously, I don't. So, But I do see a difference when I take these. And sometimes they have a deal. I don't know if this is the deal for that one or not, but... I like these and make sure you read because they have other flavors i like the strawberry one as far as a lip balm to carry in your purse i'm going to show you guys other options if you're in this area i would suggest to get aquaphor this can't be right there's no way this is 20 dollars. i don't think that's right <laughs> but i like these aquaphor ones for my lips that cracked or this one as well this one's a little more runny this one's a little more chappy as the rest are it's up to you what other ones do i like i'm trying to see if they have vaseline over here but i don't see it don't get these y'all these don't work and then these i didn't really have a problem with nivea but honestly if you're gonna choose between nivea or aquaphor get aquaphor this is something you get when you're a kid not anymore i feel like they always made your lips more chapped that's how they stay in business taking care of your lower area is very important do not get any vagicil please if you have any vagicil throw that out please throw it in the trash now i'm also very against summer's eve do not get summer's eve you're not 15 do not get it i do like honey pod if you want to even just be preventative, I like the soothing wash. It's good. It's I like the consistency of it in the shower. And they have other things as well. Now, they are a little pricey, but worth it. I feel for years, I was always trying to figure out which under... What is this called? Liners. What liners was best. Now, this anti-bunch is basically won't bunch up in your underwear like the rest do. Now, me personally, I like this Carefree. This is a new packaging. So, if you remember it from being a darker color, a darker pink color, then that's this is the same one. I do like these. Now, these do bunch up. But I like these because if they're long, they're long. I need something long. Okay, I like all the coverage I can get. Okay. I've tried these. I'm actually wearing these right now. I don't love them. They're really small. I feel like this is the coverage that you get right here it's not the whole thing i need the whole thing covered like this you basically you get more coverage here than you do on that one so i mean just pick and choose that's what i did just kind of explore and figure out which ones you like and i don't use tampons so unfortunately i cannot tell you which tampon to use pads it's kind of the same thing just explore i honestly don't like poise i like always so i either get this one this size i always look at the size make sure you look at the size to see which which one you want and obviously you'll decide all that with your flow my flow is a little heavier so and i do like a thicker consistency now i do get that diaper butt but i don't care sometimes i get the ultra thin maybe towards the end of my period i'll do that but overall i do with thick i pick and choose between the colors sometimes i get the, the purple one sometimes i get the orange one with q-tips it's q-tips man i don't really see a difference i just get whatever i don't have a lot of wax build up in my ears anyways with perfumes i honestly suggest that you go and splurge on an expensive perfume whether that's chanel or other higher brands i've tried mix bar honestly didn't really get the hype i don't really like any of the perfumes at target here one of these in your purse these are a little pricey but honestly worth it i've also never tried mighty patch because i really don't get pimples like that but next time i do i'm trying these for sure because everyone says they're good so they must be good now with a face wash i honestly i'll show you guys what i use if i oh i have to go back and find it but 
I used to use this a lot, this African black soap, but I don't have a bad skin, so I couldn't tell you if it really works or not. You would have to test that out on somebody that actually has face problems, you know? So, but I used to use that and I liked it. I also like the smell of it too. These I've never seen before, these Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser. Long, long time ago, I used to use this Bior. Yeah, it does nothing, okay? It does nothing. I've used Clear Clear. I don't know if it really works. This is something my mom likes. I just don't like the particles in the thing while you're washing your face it just feels rough on your face so i don't like that and i've also tried this noxema it's still in my drawer so eh, i wouldn't get it i don't think it really does anything different if you have acne or any dark spots i would recommend different i really do think it works and they used to be over the counter now they made it for everyone to be able to get it so definitely try this and let me know what you think i also like cerave all cerave i like what i really use is this this gentle skin cleanser i really should get one but i'm gonna hold off because it's a little pricey and then this vanny cream as well vanny cream is good i might get this actually this is cheaper for nine dollars though that's so expensive <laughs> i do need a cleanser though it's so small though i'll try it again just because it's gonna feel doesn't mean it's good for you please read if you learn anything about anything read shea butter i don't want nothing with no butter i just want it non-scented i don't no can't do that then there's these i've also tried these but honestly uh, i know it says hydrating facial cleanser but i just don't feel hydrated i'm sorry this is the soap that i use now for me this is a little pricey because you can literally get a bunch of soaps like six seven soaps for this price but you know <laughs> eczema comes with its perks i've never tried that one because they never have that one in stock i always get this one gentle cleanse see this says this one says oh they both say dry to normal okay what's the difference see gentle is what i need but i also want a deep cleaning i'm gonna try this one because why not i've never tried this one either but it, i'm kind of tempted i like whenever i can open something up like this rather than squeeze it when it comes to a face moisture i don't know that's just how i am but i already have some so i don't need this is what i use as my facial cleanser i use those right there at the end these uh neutrogena makeup removers i know people say it's not good honestly I don't care this is what works for me they are a little pricey that's why i get the pack if you're traveling you can get those little ones back there my combo is this and then wet it with this one the micellar clean water and i use the blue one i've tried the pink one but i don't like it and the green one i've never tried just stick to what works for you as far as everyday moisture this is what i use i like this one i've tried that one this is the one i have right now actually but this is the one i like you can actually find this at dollar tree now me i'm always experiencing cracked my my hands are always cracked even if i put something on it and what i use is aquaphor i literally have an aqua aquaphor stick in my purse for that reason i like aquaphor if you have eczema if you don't have eczema too I've, everyone likes aquaphor who doesn't but the price is not so lovely i also like el Serin. that's what i used when i first had eczema when i was little that's what i got this is what i have right now at the house this is what i use and i love it because it's definitely moisturizing that's one thing i love about this one it's so moisturizing for sure and then there's vanny cream um i like vanny cream not my favorite but it's there too no avino none of that also i have tried lubriderm this is something i tried when i was younger too so it's been a long time but mm, from what i remember you know it did its job they got other tastes i like this one this one i like and then the basic one that everyone has or the cocoa butter one too I don't really like this one, the yellow one that I showed y'all earlier. And then you can also get it like this. Now, I find that it's actually more moisturizing if you get this kind than this kind, but who knows. As far as like in-wash in the shower, pick up one of these to clean your body. I wouldn't get a glove. I'm trying to find a cloth, but I don't see any cloths. And there's this one though, and ew, did somebody use that? That's gross. I would steer clear from loofahs, TBH. Whenever I'm having a hard day, my back hurts, I like some Epsom salt. Now, I always do Dr. Teal's, and it says fragrance-free. I don't mind that, but I can't really do anything that's scented. Every once in a while, I'll break you know i'll break it because man i need some smells in my life okay this eczema i didn't pick the eczema life man so sometimes i'll pick up something that has like this relax and relief i like eucalyptus so just kind of figure out what smells you like and go from there lavender oh lavender in the tub smells so good if you have a bigger budget check out la roche posay i don't understand why people don't just throw away their starbucks that's so disgusting for my hair and i get a lot of compliments by the way i use this this leave-in conditioner 
I love this. Ooh, and this is the one I get. This one, not the other ones, because they do have other ones, but this is the one I swear by. After I take a shower, I put this all over my hair, wrap it up. Mmm, smells so good. I would stay away from Tresemme. Y'all know Tresemme was getting that lawsuit. I don't know if they're done or whatever, whatever, but uh-uh, mm -mm. One lawsuit is good enough for me. Now, at one point, I did use this L'Oreal Eve Pure. I didn't see a problem with it, but I'm always looking for ways to elevate my hair, and... I find that the more expensive you go, the better the product, unfortunately. And no head and shoulders. Head and shoulders is not even an option. I'm sorry. The conditioner and shampoo that I actually use now is actually not here because it's a little more expensive. So you can find it at Ulta. I'll see if I can insert a picture if I remember. If you have curly hair, a different kind of hair that's not straight, I used to use this. Eh, it's okay, not the best. $16, I don't think it's worth it. But what I do like to use is get these Hollywood Beauty oils and just depending on what you're looking for get one of these and it's good to have this in the house because you never know when you're gonna need this trust me you i feel like i always need tea tree oil and coconut oil i was thinking of picking up some castor oil because i was talking to my friend about how i can help my hair because my hair is falling out but i'm gonna hold off and see if i have it at the house but if not i can always come back and get it they also have other ones as well but this is nine dollars and this is three whenever i straighten my hair i do like to use a bonnet and i find that the bonnet that i use is great i got mine's from sally beauty and you know they're they're known for their you know beauty supplies and all that so maybe check it out there these aren't the most flattering ones but i mean if you need it that bad somebody took it out oh my god <gasps> no let me get out of here before they think it's me. This part is technically hygiene because you need to keep your cl clothes clean. So the one that I like to use is that sensitive skin arm and hammer. It's a little pricey, but that's what I like. There's other ones too that are good for if you have eczema. And unfortunately, no, I cannot use any of these downy. Every once in a while, I'll break the rules, like I said, and use one of these because it does smell really good. Who doesn't want their laundry to smell good, but can do scents. Now what I do use is these um, dryer sheets. Either gain, even though I shouldn't, <laughs> or bounce. To keep clothes white, I don't even know if this is good or bad for my eczema. I never thought about it because I need my clothes white. I like this OxyClean. For wipes, I honestly just go with the cheapest because I'm not gonna spend that much money on wipes if you ask me. Which the wipes that I use are not even here, but the second best for me would be Charmin. Last but not least, I swear by Cottonelle. If there's anything you learn, you need some good toilet paper to wipe your tushy, okay? And I honestly prefer this one. I don't know. This one just breaks easier. It says comfort. Forget comfort. I don't want it to break. Ultra clean is where to go. So I ended up only getting three things at Target. I got this body wash from Cetaphil because I do need it. I'm about to run out of the one I have. And it's actually a different one, but I didn't see it in stores. So that's why I didn't give it a shout out. Then I got these bars of soap this is what i use to wash my hands and to wash my body and last but not least this i think i tried this at my mom's house one time but i don't know this is the vanny cream gentle facial cleanser and it has the little e on it you know eczema approved and yeah that's all I got, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this hygiene shop with me. This is a realistic hygiene shop with me. Three items. I think the biggest takeaway from this video is just test things out. Test things out and see what you like. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.